All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Maddie here from Chill TCG. Uh, welcome back to part two of our Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX video mini series, uh, which we're doing today. We're taking a look at three different Shadow Rider variants um, and uh, seeing which one we kind of like better, kind of hitting on all different uh, aspects of what this card can really do. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at Alcremi VMAX uh, paired up with uh, Cali Rex Shadow Rider. If you watched my earlier video, earlier video today, you kind of know what Shadow Rider does, so I'm not going to go in depth and explain it. Uh, but if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend it, um, and uh, it'll be in the annotations part up here. So if you just kind of click that little eye, you'll get to go watch the previous video. Shadow Rider is really good. It accelerates energies really properly. Uh, it accelerates uh, cards in your hand. You get to draw cards with it, and also has a really, really, really great attack. The one thing I want to note, though, Shadow Rider, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex does more damage uh, with its attack. The more Psychic energies that are on our board, and this means that uh, Alcremi V Max is a perfect partner uh, for Shadow Rider, uh, mainly because we have this adornment attack here. So for one energy, um, it, this reads that for each of your benched Pokemon, search your deck for a Psychic energy and attach it to that Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So this means that uh, if we have five Pokemon on our board, uh, we get to go ahead and just attach five energies to our board, which is uh, I, that technically adds 150 damage to a Shadow Rider attack. Really, really phenomenal. These two cards pair together really well. Both Psychic types. Uh, we also have G Max Wink, which does 60 times uh, all the energies that we discard from our board. Uh, so it's a little bit less. Uh, it's a little bit more. Uh, expensive in terms of you know the energy cost discarding all those energies but we can absolutely get up to really high numbers and KO almost anything in the game so uh, we have you know really high uh, heavy hitting options in this deck uh, so I'm really really excited uh, it's a really cool option maybe you guys have seen this in Japan some people in Japan were playing this matchup I know Andrew Mahone you know played it with and on his video I uh, took a look at it so I definitely wanted to add it to our mini video series here of Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX we're also running one Cresselia just another good starting option we also have a Mars Shadow for those pesky uh, Path to the Peaks that which we might be taking a look at here we don't like Path to the Peak realistically and that's why we're also running a Chaotic Swell in our deck so uh, pretty cool we're running a 3-3 Alcremi lineup and a 4-4 Calyrex lineup, so plenty of V and VMAX Pokemon, but we also have a Crobat and a Dedenne to draw some cards. Everything else in here is going to be pretty much the same as the last video that we saw. The only difference is here is we're running 14 Psychic Energies instead of 12. That's because we like to uh, get... This deck is more so about getting a lot of energies on our board in total, uh, whereas the other deck is more about kind of getting the three energies on the Pokemon that we need. Uh, in this deck, we kind of flood our entire board with energy, so it makes sense to run a high count. Not only are we running 14 Psychic Energy in the deck, but we also are running an Energy Recycler. A fairly new card, uh, which is really, really good. You get to shuffle five basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. So if we do pop off with the uh, the G-Max Wink Attack from Alcremi and we discard those energies, or we just discard them with things like Quick Ball uh, or Research throughout the game, we're going to be able to shuffle those back into our deck. Uh, which is definitely really, really, really useful because Far Crystal also searches our deck for those psychic energies. So just makes a lot of sense. We only need one, though, I think. I think running a higher energy count and just one energy recycler should be enough. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the deck list. I'm not going to go super in-depth again. Uh, we did cover uh, the initial Trevnoir Shadow Rider deck a little bit more in-depth in the last video. Uh, so we're going to get right into it, um, and we're going to play a couple games. I really cannot wait. It's um, I, I'm just excited. This is a, a deck that I typically don't really play... Um, I've never played out creamy. Uh, I'm pretty new to Shadow Rider in general, so you know the gameplay might be a little bit sloppy. Don't you know? Don't get on me for that. Uh, it, this isn't too much to show you how to play Shadow Rider at a really high level. Uh, more so, just to showcase you know how crazy this deck can really be, and to kind of spark some ideas in your head, right? Maybe you look at this list and you go, you know, I like this list, but I would change a few things about it. Go ahead, trust me. I, I'm sure you guys can make the list better, but this was just kind of my rendition of it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, really, really excited. So let's play some games. I don't know what we're going to get into in matchup for uh, for immediately, uh, matchup against, but uh, we'll see. It's going to be fun. I really can't wait. Uh, let's get into part two of our Shadow Rider Calyrex video series. Can't wait. Let's play some games. All right, guys, let's get into it. Keeping up with our Calyrex day, our, our day of Shadow Rider, I guess you could call it. Um, in this gameplay, we're going to be playing against our guy Vaughn, my good friend Vaughn. I believe he's playing the new Tornadus. Uh, v Max, which is actually a really powerful deck, one of my favorite decks to come out uh, in this set as well. Um, but uh, we're playing Al Creamy V Max Shadow Rider, so it's definitely going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting matchup. Do we want to go first or second? I think Tornadus would rather go first, uh, so we're going to choose to go second. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's I, I don't know how this all works yet. Uh, we're going to mulligan anyway. We're playing, I think, like a three-three Al Creamy lineup and a four-four Calyrex lineup. So 
uh, plenty of, of those cards in our deck. So uh, let's see what we draw into here. We draw into an Alcremi, Marshadow. I guess we'll start with Alcremi. Uh, not that uh, not that bad. So Tornadus, it's it's very similar to Single Strike Urshifu in a sense. It's just a little bit different. Um, we see that he is playing one Single Strike Urshifu V, but he's not actually playing the V Max. He plays the V mainly just to have a V Pokemon that we can attack there for 180. Gets up to like 240 range uh, with the damage modifiers from the special energy. So definitely a really powerful card. Um, and it kind of just, again, it's just like a that one uh, two prize basic uh, Pokemon attacker in the deck. And there's that beautiful Tornadus VMAX. Uh, again, I just love that deck. I love that card. Uh, and I've never played this matchup before. I've only played this deck once, uh, just to test it out a little bit. Uh, he does get one Houndour on his board, and he does get a Tornadus down on his board as well. Uh, this is a really, really awkward hand for us. Uh, extremely awkward, in fact. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to play the Marshadow down, and we're just going to resetting whole. Uh, but it looks like that we're probably going to have to research away this hand and get rid of three VMAX Pokemon. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but we are playing a high count of all of those VMAXs, so it uh, shouldn't be the end of the world, at least. Uh, we have a Swell, so we're going to be able to get the Swell out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bench that Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider V. Um, Sugary Sprinkles, heal damage from each of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, it's not going to be super relevant for us. Um, we could have Shadow Mist, perhaps, but um, well, Shadow Mist actually sounds really good. Can I play any special energies from their hand though? So they're still going to be able to Hound Doom. Um, so yeah, we're going to just <laughs> we're going to Sugary Sprinkles. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but the, perhaps one of the best attack names uh, that I've ever seen on a Pokemon. Uh, and we're going to hope that we don't die this turn. Uh, I think that's uh, probably just our our one hope. Um, <laughs> again, this is a, kind of a, more of a setup deck uh, compared to other Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider decks that we might be taking a look at. Uh, we kind of want to set up. We want to get the uh, the Alcremi all, all kind of uh, powered up. He's going to Marnie us. Uh, not super good, but we'll see what we get Marnied into. We'll see what cards we draw. Uh, could be good, you know. So we get the VMAX, Evo Incense. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good hand. It really is. I'm not uh, I'm not too upset about this uh, this hand whatsoever. We're going to have to switch into the VMAX, though, so we can utilize that ability uh, to start attaching to our Alcremi. Um, that's going to be pretty important. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, um, okay, so he's going to escape rope us. Uh, is he attacking this turn? He can attack with Tornadus, um, and he does get the VMAX, so he needs one extra energy, but he does have the Hound Doom, so he's going to be able to hit us with Blasting Wind, uh, which will do damage to us. Um, and it actually does quite a bit here. What was that first energy he got? Is that a capture? Okay. So this is going to do 80 damage to us, this Blasting Wind attack, but he takes 20 in the process. Uh, he actually doesn't switch into attack, so he's going to save his... Um, his Tornadus, which I think is probably his best plan. We're going to evolve the Calyrex 100%. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pop Evo Incense. Um, so we have a couple options here. So if we grab Alcremie, we can Adormant. So for each of our benched Pokemon, we search a deck for a Psychic Energy and attach it to those Pokemon. That probably is going to be our best setup option, uh, to be 100% honest. So I think I'm going to grab that because we do have Dedenne in hand and whatnot. Uh, we're going to switch into Alcremie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and, and give him one of these business um, and uh, we're going to just calm anyway, because we have, uh, you know, we're going to Dedenne either way uh, if we don't. So we're just going to go ahead and grab Crobat. going to be our best option since we have no cards in our deck. Uh, we're going to draw, or no cards in our hand. We're going to draw six. Okay, so we can actually bench this. We're looking to bench uh, as many Pokemon, actually, as we kind of possibly can at this point. How many energies are in our discard? Just one. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so first of all, I'm going to Underworld Door. And we're going to attach it to the VMAX. That's the most safe option. We're going to draw three cards. We do have another Fog Crystal. And yet, again, we do have uh, another uh, Calyrex. Uh, or another op you know, another chance to get a Calyrex. We want to fill up our board, though, because that's how we accelerate more energies, I think, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead. And I, now I think that we what we have to do is Fog Crystal. I don't know if grabbing another Alcremie uh, is better. So we only have one of each VMAX left. Um, so I think that what we're forced to do, actually... Uh, is grab the Alcremie V uh, just because we you know we need that last V Max to evolve this guy, so it's just kind of going to be our only option, I think. Um, we could grab Cresselia, might be good to just have it on our bench. Although we could just Dedenne this turn. Um, perhaps we do that. <laughs> maybe maybe that's just what we do. Um, honestly, I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty fine about that. We're going to attach Air Balloon to the active. And we're going to do that anyway this hand. I don't have a lot of experience with this deck. You guys might have already uh, been able to tell that. Uh, but uh, you know what? What can you do? Uh, so we have the VMAX in hand. Both VMAXs, which is really good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end dormant. Um, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, get energies all over these guys. 
Boom. There we are. This might have been our only energy recycler, too, to be honest with you. Um, and I should have just used it just for that one energy, to be 100% honest with you. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, he's like, well played. Um, very well played, Vaughn. Uh, I still think he could actually almost KO us at 310 HP, um, to be honest. like he, he, I think he can just get the KO uh, if he were to just get a bunch of energies on his Tornadus. Um, so now, so if there's a statement play, he's doing 240 plus 40, that's 280. So he just needs two more special energies, uh, with that increased damage onto this thing to KO us, which, uh, is definitely interesting. So there comes the Evo Incense. He's going to be able to grab another Houndoom. Uh, that's another, uh, single strike energy that he's going to be able to attach to this Tornadus. Uh, Tornadus also runs powerful colorless energy. So that's something that he can manually attach, uh, to increase the damage dealt by Tornadus VMAX as well. Um, we'll see. So he actually researches. Does he find another uh, damage modifying energy to get the KO on our Alcremi? That's the big question, right? Uh, definitely the uh, the big question right now. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Even if he does KO Alcremi, not a big deal. Uh, we're still going to be able to kind of come back and KO most likely with Calyrex. So again, not the end of the world. He actually attaches the capture to the Houndour and he's going to bite us. Um, and he's doing that because he doesn't want to leave the single strike in there to get KO'd. Um, and of course, he does not want to attack and not KO us because we're going to go ahead and it's just uh, KO him back. So probably the smart play uh, for him. We're going to evolve both of these bad boys here just because we can. All right. Always important to understand that. Um, and now I think what we're going to do. Hmm. Yeah, let's attach to this all creamy draw some more cards here okay so now we have quick balls there's nothing really else that we're going to want to like play and uh, we only have 15 cards in our deck though so we need to keep that in mind and we all are all out of energy recyclers uh but we have a couple bosses in our deck uh so it looks like we're gonna have to actually just uh attack the active pokemon uh which is a little bit unfortunate um but anyway we're gonna go ahead and just marnie uh just because we would like a switching option um or an energy and, and we do get the energy which is nice um so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I'm just thinking. Just having a thought. Uh, we can retreat just for one energy. Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I don't think. But um, whatever we leave in here might get KO'd by this <laughs> this tornado. This thing is definitely a threat, uh, I think. Um, so we can actually stand with Alcremie. KO with Gmax Wink, we wouldn't have to discard any, uh, you know, other, you know, more than one energy. Uh, that might be our best option. Maybe it's not. Again, I don't know. We're just going to Gmax Wink, and we're going to discard this one energy from the active, and that's just going to do enough to KO. So if he comes back and he KOs our All Creamy, we should be able to KO with our Calyrex, no problem. Uh, we do take a research off the prize cards as well, uh, but we'll see. If he bosses and KOs this uh, this Calyrex, that could be an issue for us, 100%. Um, but uh, right now he's hitting for. He still needs a stadium in play as well, so that's something we got to keep in mind. Uh, but uh, this thing is terrifying. It really is. It's like I'm playing single strike Archifu, except it doesn't discard the energies, which is really scary. Um, definitely really scary. It would have been nice to have boss last turn. Uh, we see the tor the the uh, the Tyranitar man. So that thing's gonna be able to KO our, uh, of course our um our Shadow Rider for weakness. I think it's Dark type, absolutely busted. Uh, he's going to research himself, uh, so no boss's order is coming out, which is good, uh, but he is going to be drawing 7 cards. We're both kind of ripping through our deck. We both have 12 and 13 cards left in our deck, uh, so we're kind of moving quickly. Uh, we're moving at a fast pace. Uh, definitely pretty interesting to see. Uh, so the Evolution Incense is here. He's going to grab another Tornadus VMAX, even though he doesn't have a Tornadus V on his board. I guess he's just grabbing that to grab it. He's going to give the sad face, yeah, and he's just going to hit us. Doesn't, uh, excuse me, doesn't get... Uh, another damage modifier on him so he's just not going to be able to survive absolutely insane how many energies do we have on board one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, three times nine that is uh 270 so we're actually doing enough to ko um and i feel pretty comfortable just going into a healthy uh calyrex and uh and koing here let's fog crystal grab an energy we're going to Fog Crystal yet again. Grab another energy. Now, we got to be careful because we are running a little bit low on cards in our deck, but we're going to go ahead, Underworld Door, um, attach this energy to ourselves. And let's see what we draw into here. Is it boss? It's not boss. I think we can afford to do it once more, uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you. So we're just going to do it. We're getting a little bit greedy. Hopefully, we don't deck out. Um, 
gonna go to six cards in our deck do we have boss now still no boss it's fine we're gonna just max geist ko his v max and now we're in a really good spot uh we're in a good spot because there's just not a whole lot really that he can do we're taking three prize cards maybe there's a marnie in here maybe there's a boss uh other you know other than that there's boss so that's probably going to be the game locked down unless he marnies us unless he reset stamps us uh just not a whole lot really that he can do um and uh you know i mean shadow rider is just really good al creamy is also uh, a really good partner to calyrex uh they go very well the energy acceleration the fact uh that al creamy can accelerate so many energies uh to everything on your board calyrex does more damage the more energies that's on your board it's actually like a match made in heaven uh who would have thought that al creamy v max I would be seeing play with Calyrex VMAX, and he just retreats into the Crobat, so I guess he's just going to give me the game at this point. Uh, not much else that he can really do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just say, well played to our boy Vaughn. Tornadus is cool, definitely a cool deck, but Shadow Rider, uh, just a little bit hard to kind of keep up with, I think. Uh, definitely a little bit difficult to keep up with. Uh, very, very, very powerful deck. Uh, really interesting too, just really cool, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can maybe find one more game uh, to play with this Al Creamy VMAX Shadow Rider Calyrex and see if we can't uh, perhaps show you guys uh, uh, just a little bit more gameplay of, uh, of Shadow Rider and see what else this deck can possibly do. Alright guys, let's get one more game with this busted Al Creamy Calyrex Shadow Rider deck. Uh, it's super fun to play with. It, it really is. It's one of the funnest decks um, that I've played with in this whole Chilling Rain sort of archetype format meta, uh, meta game or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, we won the coin flip. Uh, we're playing Vaughn again, but now this time he's playing Tempo Zard, uh, which is another really great deck. I was mainly just interested in the Shadow Rider uh, Tempo Zard matchup. We do play, I believe, uh, Swell in our deck, although maybe we don't play Swell. I don't know. Either way, we're going to go second. Both of us benefit from going second, so to me, that kind of seems like the best thing to do. Um, we're going to start with an El Creamy yet again, just like we did last time. But our hand is actually pretty interesting. We actually don't mind discarding energies in this deck. We do play one energy recycler. We're going to have to check to see if it's in our deck, but I think that since we're going second, we can go ahead, Fog Crystal, uh, grab a Calyrex, um, perhaps grab a uh, Cresselia. Uh, I think we can grab both here and then research away our hand as well. So I, I think our hand is actually really good, especially if we're going second. Uh, really what we need to do though is draw into a way to switch out, but we have plenty of different ways uh, to switch out uh, in our deck. So i uh, really interested. Galarian Rapidash V. Is this Tempo Zard? Or is this Victini? I really have no idea. Could be Victini. I really, I have no idea. Uh, but we have the switch right there, so uh, absolutely phenomenal. Let's look through our deck. So we have four of our Calyrexes, four of the V-Maxes. Uh, do we have any? Yeah, okay. So we have all of our main Pokemon in the deck. Did we prize anything? I think we might have prized one Cresselia. I think we might even just run one Cresselia. I don't know. You can't, you know, I, I'm not the guy to ask. Uh, we're going to bench that Cresselia. We're going to Quick Ball away the energy, though. And uh, now we're going to grab uh, Shadow Rider. Yeah. Seems like the best move. We're going to attach to that energy to Cresselia. We're going to switch into it. Uh, and yes, we are going to uh, research it with his hand. So yeah, we do have two energies in our discard pile. It's not the best, but again, it's not that bad either. And we also have uh, Evolution Incense and El Creamy VMAX for next turn as well. Uh, so things are definitely kind of ramping up. Uh, when it comes to attaching three energies, though, I think our best bet is going to be to just attach them to our Calyrexes because they need more energies to attack. So uh, when we Crescent Glow here, of course, we can only uh, attach three energies to one of our Pokemon. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pick the uh, the Shadow Rider. Uh, it just seems like the better target. Al Creamy is there mainly just to set up a bunch of energies on our board, which is really good, right? I mean, that's... It's good. It's a great attack, but it only takes one energy, really. Um, and we can use the, the second attack to get big KOs, but it kind of discards energy. And, and I think that, you know, at this point, um, you know, just setting up the Calyrex Shadow Rider is going to be better, though. So he's going to Stellar Wish. Um, I'm still kind of waiting to see. I thought he was playing Tempo Zard, but I didn't think Tempo Zard uh, played Rapidash V. So that is definitely interesting. It's the alternate art one as well. Uh, let's take a look at this baby. What a great looking card. Yeah, so Russian and Charizard. I guess it still could be Victini, uh, technically, but... I don't know. Uh, scoop up net Jirachi. It's it's interesting. Uh, let's see what he brings down. So he is going to choose to do 110 damage to our Calyrex. Definitely a smart move on his part, I think. Um, but uh, now we can Evo Incense. We can grab our Shadow Rider VMAX. Um, we can just get things rolling. We can just absolutely start rolling. Um, and I think maybe setting up some energies here might be better. Although we could just KO the Galarian Rapidash, I think. Um, and maybe that is our better option. We're going to attach one energy to the Alcremie. Uh, we're going to Underworld Door, and then we're going to attach an energy from our hand to this Calyrex V. So, 
interesting hand here, uh, 100%. We could Marnie him. Uh, we could Dedenne. The thing is, we want to fill up our board. Um, so perhaps Dedenne is the best option, although we're already down one research. Uh, discarding two researches and a Marnie here, uh, not super ideal. I kind of might want a Marnie out of here. Um, but uh, we have, what is it, six energies on board, so we're doing 190. Um, yeah, I think... I kind of think what we're forced to do... Yeah, we're going to Dedenne. Very risky play. Uh, very aggressive play, discarding all those supporter cards. But uh, you know how we roll. We're going to go for it. Uh, we actually also draw into the Swell, which is good. Um, we can actually play a Crobat as well this turn, which is actually going to be pretty uh, pretty advantageous for us. We also have Air Balloon. Air Balloon is definitely a good card uh, to have. So I'm just trying to think here. Um, we're a VMAX away from getting the KO on this Rapidash. So... I think what I kind of want to do is go into the Alcremi just to potentially Adornment. Um, and I think that that might be our best play. So um, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to Quick Ball away the Psychic. How many Psychics do we have left in our deck? Um, four. So that's not super a whole lot. Uh, but, uh, of course, we could potentially... Uh, we're going to hold the boss. We're going to draw five off the Crobat. We could potentially draw into Energy Recycler here. And we do, actually. Uh, we only have three in our discard pile. But I think that's probably justifiable enough. Um, is it, though? I don't know. I really don't know. We do have Evolution Incense, though. Which is pretty cool. Uh, but we do not have the energy in our hand. Uh, and that makes things a little bit awkward. So I think what we have to do here, actually, uh, is go for the Adornment and hope that he cannot uh, KO us uh, next turn. I'm not saying that he, he probably can, uh, but I'm just assuming that he's probably not going to be able to do that. Um, and that being said, I'm going to pop the Recycler uh, first. And we're going to put three out of five back into our deck from our discard pile and now we can retreat into the al creamy and now we're going to adorn uh dormant and we're just going to absolutely flood our board with all of these energies uh these beautiful energies put them to all our pokemon this that's plus plus five energies on board technically plus 150 damage uh from the calyrex shadow rider things that we don't want to see right now we don't want to see well i guess he can't welder and boss in the same turn so i think we're kind of safe uh, he can attack the Alcremi, not the end of the world. We can go into a Calyrex and KO him. Uh, if he stay, uh, stays in with the Rapidash, kind of drops um, our HP of either our Alcremi in the, in the active spot or our um, Calyrex. Again, not that bad. Uh, we do have boss in hand, so I think all we need... Um, actually, we can just retreat and KO that Reshizard with boss next turn. I think that's going to be probably a pretty safe play. The thing is, we're down Crobat, we're down to Dene, and we're down three Research and Amarni. So he actually stays into the active, and he does drop the HP of our... Of our Al Creamy V Max. Um, this Rapid Ash, it's not a threat because it can't actually KO stuff. I can only just drop the HP down. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're definitely doing enough damage. So we're gonna KO the uh, the Rashizar, and I think that's gonna be our best play. Uh, let's retreat. We're gonna have to retreat into this guy because we just don't have the access to the energy. We still have plenty on board, so that's four, six, um, that's ten. So we are doing plenty of damage here, enough to KO uh, this three prize tag team Rush Ram and Charizard, taking three prize cards as well. Cannot complain. This deck is insanely powerful. Fog Crystal's really good. Boss is also really good. And what do we see here? Uh, communications. Okay. We got a nice big hand now. We got a lot of energies on board. Uh, if this Calyrex gets KO'd, which it looks like it might here from this heat train, if we see a Welder and he switches in, um, you know, if he gets two more energies on his board and then he switches into that heat train, he is going to be able to pop off uh, and KO, uh, which, you know, wouldn't be the best for us. Would not be the best, but we still have plenty of energies on board. Uh, we still have, of course, six on our board, and that gives us 190 damage, which is going to be enough to KO the Heatran. So we're in, we're still in a pretty good position. Uh, after we KO that Heatran, though, we got to hope that he doesn't have another option to kind of boss us up and KO us. So uh, we'll see. Fire Crystal comes out. <clears throat> I wish there was a Psychic type Fire Crystal. That would be very good for this deck. Uh, <laughs> psychic type Fire Crystal, Psychic Crystal card. I uh, would be absolutely busted. And there's the Welder. So, yeah, it looks like he is going to be able to get into this uh, this Heatran uh, and KO. Uh, and absolutely KO our active uh, Calyrex VMAX. Doing a perfect uh, 200 damage with the GX to get us as well. So, that's super, super cool. Uh, he's going to scoop up the Zigzagoon. All right, oh, he scoops up the Mewtwo. Uh, and I put Blound down, which is interesting. Uh, and that's actually probably his best bet because we're about to KO this Heatran. And then he needs something to finish us off next turn. Uh, so, you know. A pretty good play on his part. We're going to go into Cresselion just because it's a free pivot. 
Um, and I think we probably want to put something down on our board, but first of all, we're going to go ahead and Fog Crystal. We're going to grab our second to last energy in our deck. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to Underworld Door. Again, we got to keep track of the amount of cards in our deck. We have uh, now only 10 cards left in our deck, um, but uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Just thinking of what else. I mean, benching anything here probably isn't like super important. Um, all things considered, I guess we'll just bench. <sighs> yeah, we'll bench the Alcremia, I think. And now, uh, I think really our, our only option correct me if I'm wrong, is to just kind of KO the active here. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 220 damage on the Heatran. And now we just got to hope that he can't KO us next turn. He's going to have to Welder to the Blound, so I think that puts us in a pretty decent position. There's not much else that we would really want to do with our hand. Um, we want to keep keep the boss for next turn. Uh, we don't have any way to really draw more cards while keeping boss, so we're going to just go ahead. We're going to Max Geist for 220, KO the Heatran. Sorry about that. A little earthquake. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hopefully uh, win next turn. We're just going to hope that he doesn't have it with Blounds. Uh, it would be crazy if he did. Uh, he needs Welder. Um, and if he wants to kind of finish off our All Creamy on the bench, he needs Boss. Um, and he cannot Welder and Boss in the same turn. So he's going to go ahead and Mewtwo get that Welder back on the top of the deck. He's going to grab it with Jirachi with the Stellar Wish. And let's see, guys. Let's see if he has it. He might just have, like, Fire Crystal uh, off this Welder. So there's one Fire Crystal. This is... <laughs> We're cutting it close here. All right, we're cutting it super close. The swell, though, having that swell there on board is absolutely massive. Um, and again, I, I really suggest running swell in a lot of decks right now. Welder is still Welder. It's still super good. And Chaotic Swell is just such a good stadium. Um, kind of excited for it to rotate. All right, so now we have a massive hand uh, from Vaughn. So he needs seven energies in that hand to KO us. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and Fireball Circus here. Is he doing it? Does he have all seven? Okay, no, he only had two, I guess. <laughs> Okay, we were all hyped up for nothing. We're going to say well played, Vaughn. Uh, definitely well played. It's uh, honestly a very, very fun matchup. Um, and uh, interesting games, nonetheless. Alcremi. Alcremi surprised me. Out of the three archetypes of Shadow Rider that we're taking a look at today, uh, Alcremi seems to be... It's up there, man. It might even be the best. I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I'll let you guys uh, discuss in the comment section below. What do you guys think of Alcremi VMAX paired with Calyrex? Uh, in my opinion, definitely super, super cool. I've been Maddie from Chill TCG. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, um, and stay tuned for later today when we post the Dragapult Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider video. I'm really excited for that. I cannot wait. Um, and we're also posting videos on all the other new decks that are coming out from Chilling Rain, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and playing Chill Series tournaments on Wednesday. All right, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks, for, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a good one.